Welcome to Mathademics. Today we are going to compare decimals and we are going to show which decimal is larger or smaller by using greater than, less than, or equal to signs. In our first example we are going to compare 6 and 398 thousandths to 6 and 406 thousandths. I am going to start all the way at the place value to the left which in this case is the ones column and I'm going to start comparing there moving to the right. Both have a 6 in the ones column since those are equal we are going to move next to the right in the tenths column. The example on the left has a 3 in the tenths column but ha the example on the right has a 4 in the tenths column. Because 4 is greater than 3 we know that 6 and 406 thousandths is greater than 6 and 398 thousandths. And you will notice that on the sign that I used the opening points to the bigger number. This will always be the case when comparing decimals and using inequality signs. For number two, we are comparing three and seventy-two hundredths to three and seven tenths. Let's go ahead and first compare the ones digit. They both have a three, which are equal, so next we're going to move to the tenths digit. Both have a seven here. Since those are equal, we are going to move to the hundredths digit. The example on the left has a two in the hundredths digit. The example on the right doesn't have anything. We're going to add a zero, which doesn't change the number, just to show that there is zero in the hundredths digit for that example to the right. And in this case, because two is greater than zero, we know that three and seventy-two hundredths is greater than three and seven tenths. Finally, in example three, we are going to compare eight and twenty-one hundredths to eight and one hundred and twenty-three thousandths. Again, we'll start at the ones digit here. We have an eight in the ones digit because those are equal. We're going to move to the tenths digit. On the left we have a two in the tenths digit and we have a one on the right in the tenths digit. Because two is greater than one, we know that eight and twenty-one hundredths is going to be greater than eight and one hundred and twenty-three thousandths. Just a note when you are doing these, even if a number has more digits or maybe goes into the thousandths or the ten thousandths place, that doesn't mean that it is a larger number. You need to compare each place value and choose whichever number has a greater digit in the particular place value that you are looking at. And that's a lesson on comparing decimals.